Hi, this is Ed. You're watching me on Living Eco. Hey, Ed. Great hey, to bro. see you. Good nice to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Very good. Good. So last year when I talked to you, I'd ask you questions about what you, what people can do to become more green. Over the past year, what are some things that you have heard about or some technologies that you've heard about that you feel people can use to become more green? More recent innovations. A new one that I did is my gray water system. I put in a gray water system now that saves me a lot of uh, water around my house. My water bill went to half of what it was because I'm using that water from showers, from laundry, from the, uh, the tub, all that water, but I'm also filtering it. I'm not just putting it out as gray, linty, soapy water into my yard. I'm using it even in my vegetable crops, so I have to filter it, 600 micron filter very little tiny holes, 200 micron, even smaller holes to get all that particulate matter out. Then it goes through anthracite coal, then it goes through uh, uh, activated charcoal, then it goes through a UV light, an ultraviolet light that kills all the bacteria. So by the time I'm done with it, it's pretty good recycled water and I can use it on my food crops. And you have to use a special soap, I assume. I have always used the cleanest, you know, biodegradable soap, so that helps. Right, right. Now, I had emailed you about that blessed invention, which is, t which is an invention which converts plastic back into oil. Oh, yeah, that's right. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Amazing. I've been talking to two guys at the company, uh, Jason and Harry, regarding this invention, and they're going to be bringing one of these to the United States. They're trying to figure out what tax code or what import code it would go Tell under. Tell me when. I want to see it. When yeah, it comes, yeah. let me We'll know. definitely do that. We'll definitely do Thank that. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Thank you.